Hey everybody! So today I'm going to review the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Liners or Lip Pencils, whichever you call them. And before I get started with my review, I do want to talk just a minute about a couple of other things. Um, as you know, you're not supposed to use your mascaras for more than six months. So any, I always keep track of when I get mascaras. That way I know exactly when to throw them away. So I was down to one mascara and I started using the one that I had left a few times and I really did not like it at all. And then I realized why that's the one that kept getting pushed back um, and not used and that is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. I really don't like that mascara and I just wanted to mention it in case you know you were thinking about buying it or whatever. I really don't recommend that. I don't feel like it was doing that much for my lashes and um, it was awful to try to get off. No matter what I used for eye makeup remover and I tried several different things. I felt like I could not get all that mascara off no matter what I did. So just wanted to throw that out there. What replaced it? Yesterday I picked up a mascara that I raved about in the past because I'm kind of sick of trying tons of new mascaras that come out because you know every five minutes a new mascara comes out or that's the way it seems. And I would say 90% of them I do not like. So instead of wasting my money on mascaras that I hate, I decided to repurchase one that I was madly in love with the entire time that I used it, and that is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. That is what I am wearing today, and that is what you will see in the description box every single time you look at what products I'm wearing in the description box. That's what it looks like. And I don't know if you can tell a difference with my lashes, but yeah, <laughs> it's like night and day. There's, there's no difference. I mean, there's a huge difference, I should say, in this mascara versus every other mascara that I've been using for the last uh, year. So this is my holy grail, and that's the only mascara you're going to see in the description box for the next six months. And what happens after that, we shall see. Because I do get curious and I do like to try new things, but I'm going to try to resist the urge to try any of these new mascaras that come out. Um, unless I hear somebody really rave about one and, you know, then I'm going to want to go out and buy it, but hopefully that won't happen. And the other thing I wanted to mention is um, a couple months ago, I had to throw away a good portion of my makeup because anytime you have a liquid or cream product whether it be a liquid foundation or cream foundation cream blushes cream eyeshadows um, any kind of a cream or liquid does not have a long shelf life and it's really not safe to keep something like that beyond I don't know, the time frame varies depending on who you talk to. So I just tried to use common sense and anything that I knew I had had for a long time, I threw it away. And what, or, or in the case of MAC products, I back to mac a ton of things and that's how I got all those new lipsticks that I showed you, I don't know, a couple months ago. Um, but one thing you cannot get when you back to MAC is Viva Glam lipsticks because all the proceeds go to charity. So they can't allow you to get one of those lipsticks for free because then no money goes to the charity. Um, all the money goes, all the money that they get from the sale of Viva Glam lipstick goes to AIDS research or helping people with AIDS. So anyway, uh, one of the lipsticks that I backed to MAC that time was Viva Glam 5. And I really like that lipstick. It's a neutral pink that goes with any look you do. You can pretty much wear that with anything and you don't have to worry about is it going to clash with my eyeshadow, my blush, or whatever. So I couldn't get that because of the reasons why I just explained. 
but I didn't have to either, and here's why. I already had something in my collection that was drugstore that's pretty much a dupe for that lipstick. So if you, if you always liked that MAC lipstick and you have the money and you want to spring the, for the $15 and you want it to go to a good cause, then, you know, get the MAC one. But if you don't have $15 to spend on lipstick and you want to dupe for it, Maybelline's Color Sensational Nearly There is pretty much a dupe for it. And that's what I'm wearing today. I've had this lipstick for a while and I kind of forgot about it. Now that I've lost a large percentage of my makeup collection, I'm revisiting all these old products that I haven't used in a while and it's kind of nice in a way. I'm like shopping my stash almost. Um, so yeah, this, I can't hold up the two because I don't have the Viva Glam 5 one anymore, but this is pretty much a dupe for MAC Viva Glam 5. So if you want to spend half the amount of money and get this, um, you know, I just wanted to make you aware of it. But if you do have the extra money, you know, um, it'll go to a good cause if you get the MAC one. Okay, so wanted to get those two things out of the way. On with the review. So I'm going to review the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Liners or Lip Pencils, whatever you call them. I had never owned a CoverGirl Lip Liner in my life. Never tried them. I mean, you, you can't try everything, right? Um, but I decided, you know, I'm always on the hunt for like the perfect lip liner because I don't know, they never seem to live up to my expectations. I have very high standards when it comes to lip liners. The purpose of a lip liner is so that your lipstick will not bleed beyond your lip area. And it seems like if it works well, it's dry because you have to create this dry barrier so that the moist lipstick doesn't bleed through. Well, um, I have a ton. Well, let me get my box. Hold on. These are all lip liners, okay? And so I already have a lot of lip liners, but believe it or not, there isn't one single brand of lip liner in that box that I think is fabulous. Well, actually, I take that back. The Catrice ones are awesome, but you can't get Catrice in the United States. And I, because I can't get Catrice here, I can't see like what all the colors are and everything. My friend June sent me a couple of them. She sent me sort of a neutral pinky nude one, and she sent me a red one. Um, maybe, I don't know, a couple of years ago, and those are great, but we don't have access to Catrice here, and I was looking for some lip liners in some colors that I thought would go with a lot of lipsticks, and I realized I had never tried the CoverGirl ones, so anyway, these are eight dollars and change at CVS. I got them in two colors, and before I get into what I think about these, let me swatch them for you. I got Splendid. And that's what that looks like. And these are kind of... I'm so bad at describing colors that... You know what? You can see. You can see what color that is. So I'm just going to let you decide what you would like to call it because the name of the lip liner is Splendid. I really wish that they would not give these crazy names to things, you know, just give it a color description because that's really what I want to know when I'm shopping for makeup colors. Don't call it some crazy thing. Please call it the color. <laughs> um, the other one I got is called Beloved and that's what that looks like. So yeah, they're in the pink family. Pink, mauve, rose, um, you know, that type of thing. So there's this lighter pink and then there's this darker pink. But they're kind of like my lips but better colors. Okay, so did I say how much these were? Yeah, $8 and change at CVS. And then of course, different prices depending on where you shop. So when I first used 
I bought one and then I ran back the next day and bought another one, which kind of tells you what I thought about it. But I bought one and when I first swatched it on my hand, I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is really moist and creamy and emollient. How is that going to keep my lip liner from bleeding outside my lines? And so I was like, well, okay, let's try it anyway. And I tried it and I still don't understand how this is possible. This is a creamy emollient lip liner. When you put it on the edge of your lips, it doesn't look like anything is going on because, well, probably because the two colors that I bought are very close to the natural color of my lips. But there is something going on there. Um, <laughs> but it works. It holds my lipsticks in place. Um, they don't bleed outside the lines, but yet, how does it work? <laughs> I, I don't really understand because it's creamy and emollient and moisturizing and doesn't dry out my lips. And matter of fact, it feels so good. Normally, I would just line my lips and then do my lipstick, but these feel so nice that I fill in the whole lip with it and then put the lipstick on top because it feels wonderful and also it adds a little dimension to the lip product that you put over it because what you're doing well at least with these two colors that I chose anyway is you're kind of intensifying the color of your natural lip then you put the lipstick on and that sort of adjusts the color of the lip liner so if you're somebody who likes to just put the lip liner on the edge of the lip and then put a lipstick in between and you like to see a contrast you may not like these because they're not extremely pigmented but they do do what they're supposed to do and I highly recommend them I I'm pretty amazed I don't understand how they work or why but they do and that's all I can tell you um, so yeah thumbs up on these I don't I've used one of my other lip liners since I bought these, but only because I needed a different kind of shade than these. But these really uh, made a believer out of me. They are fantastic. And um, so I really like them. I mean, that's my experience. Makeup can be quite a personal thing and different people can try different products and they may not respond to them the same way somebody else would because you know you have to factor in like um the condition of your skin your age and for me um, a lip liner that's not drying but works what more can you want <laughs> so thumbs up on those and that is it for today you guys and i'll see you next time bye